How you doing folks? We have a bit of a journey today. We are in Kilkey in West Clare. And you can see the passenger wagon and John Deere coming up here behind us. Declan Carey. Declan is from Innes. And they're here in West Clare and they're on the, the, the go today. We have um, John Deere's on the moors with John Deere's on the rakes. And we have passenger wagons and one, not two, we have four. Four passenger wagons and we have a Volvo in the pit. Um, Pottinger, we're going to be telling you a bit about the history of Pottinger or whatever, but uh, we swing around, these are four Pottinger Jumbos, I think they're all 600s, and um, so look, we swing the camera and we go from there. There she goes, that's the 6210 hour John Deere. Of course, Pottinger are on the go with about 150 years. Like we said, Pottinger are on the go with about 150 years. Pottinger actually started out making some kind of a, a silage harvester or a wagon. I wasn't exactly able to find out what it exactly it was. But they also were locksmiths and they were also watchmakers. Second wagon below coming around the corner. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic scenery here in Clare. Back to the road, we're not too far from Loop Head, Loop Head Lighthouse. Pottinger, a very, very well established company now in Ireland. And here with yours, they do everything. They do, they did silage harvesters, they do rakes, I think they do moors. I think, as far as I know, Pottinger are an Austrian company, and like I said, 150 years ago they started. I think it was, 18, was it 1871? 1872, that's when they started off. Six one nine five R John Deere again. We get a bit of a footage there now in a few minutes of she unloading the load into the yard. Of course, the the, the wagon silage is not as finely chopped as the um, as the precision chop, but it's a bit more chopped than the, than the double chop or the single chop. Here we have the man himself coming up here, Declan. Some of you might know Declan. Declan is the man. He is in one of my videos there. Um, a couple of weeks ago we done our village island and Shane Lines in the silage there. Declan is the man with the New Holland self propel and some of you also might know him. He has the four wheel drive um, 135 tractor he carries around to a lot of shows. Just full, lift up your your header and away for the yard.
they are a massive trailer they are absolutely massive um, I don't know but I know they reckon roughly estimate there's about 10 ton of grass to the acre so if they take an acre and a bit maybe they take another bit I don't know they're talking um, Here we have the Pottinger, she's a double moor, front and back, and a John Deere again. A serious knock over this show. Nova Cut 302. There is some absolutely serious scenery here in West Clare. And thanks again to Declan Carey for letting us come up to video him and all the lads working for him. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully you'll be able to give a like and give a subscribe. And um, we'll go from there. I don't know where we're going next, but sure we luck. The man says we'll make it up as we go along. And um, I'm enjoying it, so hopefully you are too. Here we have again the man's coming around, second lap of the field, the John Deere and the double set of Pottingers. What is she? 6.7 m 6.170 m Very little difference between the M and the R. I think the R is a 50k and the R might have um, a bit more electrics and a bit more whatever. Well, that's it. The grass there, you can see the grass and the blows of grass. The rake will rake that into 30 foot. Each blow, this is what we call a blow, that and that and that. There are three blows there. Each blow is probably 30 feet or 10 feet for so breaking into 30 foot blows. It's probably growing with some type of minimum of six weeks. So you can see the crop of grass we have here after six weeks of growth. It doesn't really grow anymore after six weeks, it kind of rots. And rots at the bottom, you get a lot of yellow on the bottom of bottom of it if it's any more than six kind of seven weeks after that. Of course you need a minimum of six weeks to get the nitrogen out of it. And um yeah, let's go and we'll take a look at the boys um picking up with the wagons and we'll um we'll go up and take a look at the pit 
It's a Volvo on the page. It's a JCB on the page. I thought it was a Volvo, but it's actually JCB. So we'll give a look at the boys. Um, tipping out a few loads of stuff and some of the scenery along the coast. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. Hope you're enjoying it. And uh, we'll go from there. What a view, lads. With the jumbos coming along here. This is what it's all about. For my friend there in America, Rip Farms, who's coming to Ireland shortly. This is the view you have. This is North Clare. Going back to Loophead. Looking out onto... Looking out onto Galway Bay. Can't really see it now, but that's Galway Bay in front of you. Today is a small bit hazy. But that is Galway Bay there. With the jumbos coming along, heading for the yard. What an absolute view. Look at that. You will see that absolutely no place in the world. I challenge anyone on YouTube or Facebook to give me a view like that. said to us um, a Volvo she's not a Volvo she's a JCB 
JCB actually is, as far as I know, JCB is Joseph Cyril Camford. And JCB is actually in the Oxford English Dictionary as a word. Look it up and you'll see it. Actually, JCB started off, as far as I know, um, sometime after World War II. He started off and he made his first machine. I presume he was some kind of a blacksmith. He started off and he started uh, making trailers. And he went from there and to what he is today. And I would say JCB is actually known worldwide. know worldwide what it is. In fact, it's a bit like the high mac Obviously there are one of our other videos as well. The idea of rolling and compacting the grass, this is all feed for the for the cattle for the winter. And the idea of rolling and compacting the grass is to um, get it get all the air out of it, get as much air out of it as possible, and um, get it fermented in over the winter. It won't rot, people say it'll rot, but it won't rot. It actually ferments. When it ferments, it um, gives some very, very high top quality feed for the for the winter for your cattle. Three of the four wagons here now in the air together. Back door of the wagon open there now. It's a floor that moves, she doesn't tip. The floor that moves, when the floor moves, she just ejects the silage out the back. Actually, we have four of the four wagons here in the yard. Two there, and two coming down the road. So was under pressure, lads.
All right, guys, this is just a bit of a close up at the, the wagon itself. The Jumbo 610s combine formatic plus, um, for those of you that don't know, the grass is cut on the moor. You can hear the moor roaring away in the background there. It's raked in by the rake. The rake rakes in 30 foot, is it 30 foot blows of, of grass? That's your rake. It comes along here, then look. And up here then into your tines, these are your, your pickup tines here. Back here then you can see the knives, if you can see them behind there, the knives. And it goes back in through the floor then of the, of the jumbo, it goes up here. And back in, and inside here then the whole floor, the whole floor moves. These are the chains, if you can see them on the floor. The whole floor moves back along and um, that's it really. That's how she fills and that's how she tips. And, do you know what, they possibly are, the Pottinger is possibly the number one um, wagon in Ireland. I have no doubt about that, they're just, they're a lovely, lovely wagon. There's other wagons out there as well, but the Pottinger is possibly the number one um, wagon. It's just a quick cut to this and to see um, one of them filling in the field. Fantastic view. We'll be all the way out there onto the Galway Bay, onto the stacks outside, the whole lot. Absolutely unbelievable view altogether of Galway Bay. And I suppose you go from Galway then, you can go up onto the Arden Islands and so on and so forth, all there in front of you. As you can see, the, the John Deere and the Pottinger going along the coast. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks again to Declan Carey and all his team there for allowing us film and whatnot. And um, so yeah, give a like, give a subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, keep an eye out. We, we'll try and do some couple of more bits along the same line if we can. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Bye now.